go through the jersey. Hey, fruit bats, it's really bad to go here. Welcome to another episode. So I'm just in the kitchen at the moment, cleaning up in my underwear. And as you do, well, I've got my bottoms on. These are underwear, but the top is actually from Lost Culture. It's a watermelon crochet top that I got sent to me and it's really cute, really good quality, got some straps going on there. If you want to check it out, go to the link in the description below. And I got my sugarcane juice and went to the market this morning, loaded up sugarcane juice, got some fruits and veggies, so I'm right for the week. And today I want to talk about Kayla Etzine's starvation diet, okay? That's what I want to talk about. And you might be like, who the heck is Kayla Etzine's really? Who is this Kayla person? Well, if you go to Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, you'll find her there. On Instagram, she has like 2 million followers. Whether they're all real followers or not is another question, which we'll discuss in maybe another video, but today I want to focus on this starvation diet bullshit. Okay, so as you know, I am completely against these diets that are under 2,000 calories. They are essentially starvation diets. The World Health Organization says anything under 2,100 calories is a famine. It's classified as a famine. So you're starving your body into weight loss. Everybody loses weight if they starve themselves. It's not rocket science. You know, that's what happens. So yes, you will get results. You'll get results over the 12 week program. It's a 12 week program, which Kayla has. I actually paid $120 for this program just to check it out and to see what was going on with this. And when I saw the 1600 calorie recommendation, I'm just like, oh, more of this bullshit. You know, when are people going to be ethical in their recommendations? Because that is completely unethical. Anyone can do a bit of research and find out that a child needs about 1600 calories. You know, so an adult who's got, you know, a stressful life, got a family, got work, you know, burning so many calories, burning so much energy during the day, is gonna need far more than 1600 calories. So the way that people get results is they starve themselves, okay? So these people are making money off, you know, your ignorance. They're making money off your desperation. So you need to realize that. You need to realize these quick fixes don't work. You're not gonna get a bikini body in 12 weeks. Okay, you're just not going to get that unless you're already, you know, close to that or whatever. But through the starvation program, you're not going to get that and keep that long term. And you know what? Doesn't matter what body you have now, you can wear a bikini anyway. So you've already got a bikini body. But if we're saying, like, we're talking about this whole, you know, getting to a certain size, you've got to give it time. You have to focus on fitness. And I just want to say before we get into this, I don't have anything against Kayla. Okay, this isn't a personal thing against Kayla. I don't know her personality. She's probably really lovely and all of this and that. This is on her recommendations, which are dangerous, which are promoting an eating disorder. That's what happens. See, women go on these programs. They stick to them for like 12 weeks. They do 1,600 calories. They're fucking starving that whole time. They're getting these cravings. You know, they're holding them off. They're having like sometimes weight loss drugs. They're having coffee to suppress their appetite. And then all of a sudden, the appetite comes in. Like I said in the other video, it comes and taps on the shoulder and says, fucking eat, 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 eat. Because that is the survival instinct kicking in. Your brain knows when you're starving. Your brain knows, okay? Your brain is gonna tell you when it's running low on glucose. So that's when you have to honor that hunger drive and actually feed your body what it needs. And that is carbohydrates. Majority is carbohydrates. So when you do that, you're going to get enough nourishment to your brain, you're going to feel good, you're going to stay on a program long enough to get those results you desire. But these quick fix bullshit, I'm just so sick of it. As you know, I'm so fucking sick of it. And I know a lot of you are sick of it too, and you just want to get healthy, fit and lean and stay that way for life. Is that such, you know, a, such a big thing to ask? It isn't. It really isn't. We all deserve that. That is our, you know, born kind of right to be healthy and fit and lean. That's how we all should be. But we've got lost along the way with all this propaganda, people trying to make money off our desperation. So just think twice before you go on these lifestyles. We've had people come to us who have been damaged from these diets, these fad diets. You know, like Kayla has very convincing, you know, testimonials on her Instagram and everything like that. Although she's got a lot of, a lot of, 
photos with the head cut off. I've noticed that. It's kind of this gimmicky thing that a lot of these like programs do. They cut the head off and they put the before and after. And it's kind of like very suspicious. But even the people who have testimonials, you go to their page and a lot of you, them you'll see are gaining the weight back or have gained the weight back. Because of course, you starve yourself. If you starve yourself, the weight will come back. I don't know how many times I need to say that. So you have to do it the carved up way. You may feel like you're eating too much because you've come from this undercarb diet industry. You know, the diet industry telling you to eat this many calories and cut the carbs. So when you come to this lifestyle and you're, you're told you can eat as much as you want, you can smash the carbs in, it's a bit like, oh no. It's a bit fearful. It's like, I don't want to do that. Oh my God, I might get fat. And oh, if I gain weight, that's a bad thing. And you know what I mean, that mentality that we need to get through and the only way we're going to get through that is if we shift our focus off the weight, the scales, shift our focus off the scales and onto getting fit, healthy, okay? The fitness and the healthiness and the happiness, that is what brings that ideal body for you, that, that mind, that really balanced, calmed up mind. And I like Kayla, Kayla's exercises are just like, you know, jumping around, lunges and stuff like that. Okay, it's all right for like, a bit of strengthening work, but if you really want to get lean long term, get on the fucking bike. You know, get on the bike or jog if you aren't too heavy, but if you're too heavy, you can ride the bike as well. You don't want to, you just got to be careful of your knees, all right? So you got to be careful and listen to your body, but definitely cardio, okay? Cardio is going to help strip the fat long term and keep the energy levels up and make you feel good. So in the morning, you know, if you get on the bike, you're going to feel really energized for the day. And that is the important thing. You don't want to feel like shit for the day. You don't want to feel like food is the enemy. You know, I've got to restrict food. Don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. You know, just constantly conditioning yourself and programming yourself not to eat too much because food is the enemy. No, food's your friend. Just eat the right food. Okay. And Kayla says something like, um, you know, vegans don't get enough protein. And I'm like serious that's like 1920 kind of information back in the 1920s when they knew nothing okay she obviously does not understand nutrition and how important it is to eat a plant-based diet if you want to be lean fit and healthy long term because then you don't have to restrict your calories if you eat meat and dairy you always have to restrict your calories remember that for the rest of your life you're going to be thinking, oh, you know, I can't eat too much of that, can't eat too much of this if you're eating mean dairy because it is just this calorically dense, pussy, saturated fat, animal fat food, which is going to go straight to your gut, straight to your butt, straight to your thighs. It's just going to load your body up with this fat, this animal fat that's not meant to be in there. If you eat animal fat, you're going to get fat. That's just how it goes. So be warned about this Kayla program, okay? This is not a personal attack against her personality. So step off if you think that because this isn't about that at all. At all. This is about warning others. This is about caring. This is about me caring for you ladies and you guys out there and warning you and saying, look, if you go on these programs, you're going to do damage. You're going to lose water weight. Yes, you may see results in 12 weeks, but long-term results of what really proves if a program, if a diet lifestyle works. And that's what this lifestyle gives, raw to four lifestyle. Long term results, you need to focus on that. You need to get off this diet merry-go-round. Are you ready to get off this diet merry-go-round? Because it will keep you on it forever if you just, if you don't, you know, carve up and listen up and get off it. So just be warned, if you want metabolic damage and go on these 1600, 1400, 1200 calorie diets, because that's what's going to happen. The rebound is going to happen. You're going to be like a yo-yo when it comes to the raw foot to a poor lifestyle and you may gain a little bit of weight. But is that the lifestyle's fault or is it your past you're bringing to it? Because you know you've been on a million different diets, okay? All these different diets are what lowers the metabolism and what increases the hunger a lot and causes the brain to really, you know, kick into that survival mode. So you want to get it out of that survival famine mode. You want your body to trust you again. So when you eat, the body's very efficient with the calories and it just goes towards your day rather than it's just stored as fat. Okay, so you don't want to be an efficient fat storer. Another thing to note is that Kayla is only 23. So it's easy to stay lean when you're 23. I would like to see Kayla when she's nearly 35 like myself. 
I want to see how her program's working for her then. It just won't. Okay, no one laughs on these diets. No one laughs. You know, you have all these like photos from all the fun time, you know, during that 12 weeks, but you don't see the photos after those 12 weeks. So focus on the long-term results. That's what fucking matters. That is what matters. Not this short-term summer body bikini bullshit. That is a lie. Okay, you're being lied to. So just be warned, these are metabolically damaging diets. And then people come to the Raw to Four lifestyle and we tell them, you, can, you know, you can eat enough, you can eat as much as you want, you can relax. And that's when some people put on weight because they're like a yo-yo, their metabolism is shot, so they need time to heal that. So just be patient, okay? Be patient, stop jumping from diet to diet to diet, embrace this lifestyle because it really fucking works. It really, really works. Okay, so that's my little message for today. Give us a thumbs up if you found it helpful, if you found it inspiring or motivating, give us a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Anyway, so I will see you soon. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself.